Okay. Finally, um, I'm getting into this now. So, you know, some of you might have seen my, my actually two hour long MK2011 review. Uh, I'm planning to redo that because I think there was, obviously there's a lot of things I didn't do so well. I was young and reckless. I didn't know what I was doing. But now I think I can go back and really properly explain exactly how bad it is. But that means I'm going to have to revisit the game. So I'm uh, playing through the game again. This will be the first time I've actually played the game since I originally got rid of it. Uh, a few years ago. Just going to go to check one little thing, which is... Okay, the subtitles aren't here. See, most Let's Players would... Um, like, professional Let's Players, I mean, ones who uh, really know what they're doing. Would... Oh, i turn that down, actually. Yeah, beginner, because... You know, I don't want to be here all day. I'm just trying to get through the story, generally. But yeah, so I'm turning the subtitles off. Most people would have subtitles on so that, you know, if they're talking over the, uh, over what's being said, uh, the, the viewer can just read the subtitles. But in this case, you know, I've, because I'm getting this footage also for the review, I don't want to have the cutscenes have subtitles on because to me that's always just looked really unprofessional. So basically, if you're not familiar with this game's story, basically... This this is an incontinuity reboot that follows in the wake of MK Armageddon. Basically, Armageddon was the last main entry before this one, if you don't count MK vs. DCU. The idea was, let's bring back everybody, every single character, 64 characters, for one last battle, where most of them die off for real. As you can see, you got like Sub-Zero dead, Johnny Cage. I'm not sure who that guy's supposed to be behind him. Then you got Sonya. And by the way, these aren't what the, this isn't what the characters actually look like in that game. But uh, and I'm going to try and avoid getting too many nitpicks in this let's play. Basically, uh, the idea was bring everyone back, kill most of them off for real, and then skip forward for a um, for like a next generation thing like Tekken Three. And no, they so that they they approached it that way, and then this idea actually let's not do it, let's just reboot it. I wonder if it was Warner Bros. idea. I love seeing Quan Chi dead. I wonder if it was Warner Bros. idea, actually, to kind of reboot it. Like, let's give it a fresh start. And they, uh, uh, Nether Realm, as it was, not midway anymore. They were like, don't have much choice, do we? Where are the Elder Gods, Raiden? <laughs> but the threat was basically all the realms were going to explode because there were too many powerful warriors. Shackles me no longer. But here, the threat is instead that it's Shao Kahn wins and gets all the powers of the gods. Were Taven, the main character of Armageddon, who the whole thing was about, where he is, is never actually explained in this one. And, yeah, so Raiden and Khan are the only ones who look like they did. Only because Khan's model is taken from K vs. DCU, which looks similar to his Armageddon counterpart. And Raiden is because he couldn't get around it, because now he's Dark Raiden. I mean, he don't act like it, but he is Dark Raiden. So, yeah, in th this game basically treats it the big threat of Armageddon is Shao Kahn winning. It wasn't, the threat was the realms collapsing and potentially the one being from whom all the realms were created in the very beginning would return. So Khan's like, finally Raiden, it's all down to us two. Which is basically how MK Conquest ended. Except that was supposed to be a dream sequence. Now, this is one of the weirdest things about the game's plot is... Raiden is basically going to send... He's going to use his amulet, his medallion he has. He's supposed to have always had, according to this game. Now, now, get this. He must win. Now, so, he's, so he's going back over all the major events of the series, but... He must win. That is an important detail because, well, it's not specific in any way. It doesn't really mean anything, does it? And this is kind of the issue is that is an important plot point that Raiden wasn't specific. But why wasn't he? He had time to explain what he meant. But no, he doesn't. Oh, look, it's Scarlet in the background. Lord Raiden, She's one of the DLC characters. Wrong? Strange visions. So he sent visions back to the events of MK1. In the hopes of changing things. Basically his ultimate goal is to stop Shao Kahn from reaching that point in Armageddon. 
That's the idea. So this is it, MK1. And there's Nightwolf. He wasn't in MK1. Neither were Cyrix and Sector, or Kitana, or Jade. Or half the characters featured it. Quan Chi wasn't there. He wasn't there. Like, this is one of the issues. Like, they're going for an incontinuity reboot with the time travel, but also retconning things. I am Shang Tsung. In the coming days, he sounds so feeble. Will fight. Some I hear of their own volition. I've actually uh, been making Others Lego Mortal Kombat characters recently. Hey, beautiful. Johnny Cage. Good for you. <laughs> what? Massive strike? Johnny Cage is the best character in the game. None of those ring a bell? One of the Kano. few things I like. Kano? Wasn't in that one. You He's such a bell end and I love it. Important Mortal Kombat in history. This tournament. It sure is the most important because there was a nine out world victory one once and you lost Shang Tsung. But then if I trying to cover that up. You will face one final challenge. I'm not sure how the tournament structure works exactly. So you have to beat everyone in the tournament. Then you get to fight the champion. Then you get to fight the tournament master. It's a bit of an odd structure, isn't it? Yeah, Johnny Cage. This is a good way to start things up. That's right. That's right. Who's it gonna be? Reptile. Reptile. It's not a bad nice choice. Who's your agent? These two have kind of been right. rivals since Shaolin Showtime. Monks because they're like the only other characters that could pair off in the intro. Right. Move list. Because <laughs> I find that MK's... Uh, see, I'm glad that they put super moves like this. Just press a button to go view it. But because I find that super moves generally tend to be the focus of the, of the combat. I see. <laughs> Oh, that could have gone better. Alright. That works. And a high one. Okay. Yeah, so again, it, it, it has been a good few years since I've actually played this game. The, the, the early fights aren't too hard, but sometimes uh, later on it gets really tough. Also, you have to do two rounds in story mode, which makes tough fights even harder, because then it's like we have to win two, two rounds. But it could be worse. It could be like... Um, Soul Calibur 5 where it's like, yeah, you, you have to play um, th uh, 3 out of 5. I mean, that's just bullshit. Johnny Cage and there you go. Reptile's beaten already. Victory. Not too hard. He got caged. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Best so bit in the game. Pretty. Watch. And I'm taking you down. I'm taking you down. I'm taking you out. I'm taking you out. And I'm taking you out. <laughs> uh, yeah, the games have been shipping those two since. Subtly starting with Deadly Alliance, but now they're getting a lot less subtle about it. Even though he did push Sonya off the um, the pyramid in Armageddon. I'm not sure if you actually see Bracken's blades come out there, or if it just happens in between cuts. Now this is a funny bit. See that works there, but I remember in the uh, Malibu comics back in the 90s, Johnny Cage actually does that to Barack, and Barack is just like, "That's supposed to hurt." Ooh. The combat's better than I remember. I think I think it was just that I was really down on the fact that uh, on the fact that there was no uh, proper combo. It's, it's, it kind of went with like a, a custom combo kind of system. Where moves don't really flow naturally into each other to have to allow a bit more freedom. Uh, let's see, was it this way? Yeah, there you go. I just want to beat. I just want to. I just want to beat you, Baraka. Oh! They should go down holding the, gr the crotch. My producer has got to meet you. We're doing Tommy Scissor Fist. Mr. Cage. Now, finish him. This is kind of an interesting point because not many people actually die in the tournaments in this story. 
even when even if a villain wins, which does happen a few times. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. I'm not gonna kill anyone. The king's like, what? <laughs> the tournament will resume at dawn. W what? That's it? Really? Yeah. Now where'd that hottie go? <laughs> One thing that's gonna be annoying to deal oh, with is the saving Thanks. icon nice in the hat. bottom. You should be more Because I'm playing on the PS3 Lord version and it does He's that. The protector of Earth Realm, the god of thunder. Now look, mm. I, I don't know what kind of role playing you guys are into, but count me out. This tournament is more than a chance for personal glory. We are fighting for the very survival of Earth Realm. What are you talking about? <laughs> Your last opponent was Tarkatan. He was born with those blades. I just love Johnny Cage in yeah. this game. Those things are real. He represents Outworld. Had you lost, the Emperor Shao Kahn would have come one step closer to physically absorbing our world into his. Outworld, yeah, right, right. The Elder you need to start from the beginning the in this situation, dude. To give Earthrealm a chance to defend itself. But if we lose this time, Shao Kahn will conquer all. Dun dun dun! I suppose Johnny Cage makes sense as the first I'm character back. to play as. I saved the world for the camera. He's popular, Emperor and he doesn't know about the tournament stuff, so... Me? I've got a day with a you know, you can always just put him in and then have him be kind of an audience surrogate for people who him? aren't familiar with the story. He is a hero, Liu Kang, though he may not yet know it. The pit, like the iconic stage for MK, and they're bringing it back for MKXL actually. I'm standing on it. Just Mortal Kombat Extra wrist. Large, which I admit is actually pretty clever as a name. And if I don't fight in this crazy tournament, they'll kill him. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, so Jax is here now. Like that wasn't a thing before. Listen, I've got serious he just is. Here. I'm in no mood to be hit on by some movie star. I don't know what looks weirder for a special forces agent. This outfit where you can where you can where she shows off so much cleavage or like the yoga hot pants she wore like in MK1. That was that was enough to floor him. <laughs> you say that now. <laughs> Actually I need to check one little thing, like yeah, because I think that, he, he, that, that move didn't actually work in the in like in the two D games like MK One and Two. Then they just kind of stopped giving him the move. It just it won't work on women. They just do the splits and do nothing. Even though, yeah, it won't hurt as much, but you are still punching them in the body. It's like, yeah, it won't be like hitting them in the balls, but you're still punching them. It's like, like if you punch someone in say the arm, it still hurts. And just it's not a major weak point, don't mean it's not going to hurt. Johnny Cage wins flawless victory. Ha ha! Not bad for a girl. I'm starting to wonder now. When I originally played the game, Look, did I put it on so beginner or did I play it on a high difficulty? Because it's a lot Have easier than I remember. And what's up with the her spazzing out? Problems. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love that. It's my turn. And here's Kano. Not man enough for a fair fight. Hers messed up again. He's presumably hitting her. Or maybe zapping her with his laser eye, because that does fire lasers sometimes. It's funny because it, like, there's not really many spikes down there. Listen, I can't. I don't think that. Maybe it's because you've seen it from up above. Done it without you. <laughs> SF is on the way. You won't What's that far. thing at the bottom left? Oh, is that is that Kano's knife? Survival. You on the other hand are gonna die. <laughs> Step away from the lady. Fans think my moves are all wire work and special effects. Truth is, I am the special effects. <laughs> See, one of the things about um, Johnny Cage's story that I actually Art. think was uh, handled really well in uh, MK Legacy, one of the few things I actually liked about that series, is the fact that there it's like Johnny Cage's career has basically already failed. He's just like, yeah, uh, my, my career's just gone down the shitter. Uh, I, I don't get any roles now. So then it's just about him trying to revitalize his career rather than just proving that he isn't a fake. 
You know, it's like, it's, that story was a little bland, but... Oh, it's a knife in his chest. I thought it was his tie spazzing out. Take that, you fiend. Yeah, in Kano, actually, he, he was originally, um... Uh, his name is actually uh, Japanese. Kano is uh, just, you know, it's been out some names like that, weird in MK. So the idea originally was that he was... Let's see if he can do an X-ray move. Go on, Kano, hit me. Managed to turn it up from beginner because this is a bit too much. Oh, damn, I forgot it's a, it's a counter move. Shit. Yeah, so Kano was a... Throw that on your... Barbie, shrimp. Lip syncs a bit off. Thanks. But yeah, no Johnny was a. Uh, but Kano was anyway? an American orphan raised in Japan originally. But then after the film, where he was portrayed with an Australian accent, they changed to Australian. Kano. He was an informant in our black so where is Kano now? Big time arms dealers. Turns out he was their leader, giving us the runaround. Did he run off? Our guys got killed because of him. So that's not a costume. Your actual military? Special forces. Get out. So you know about this threat to the world stuff, right? Raiden called in the cavalry. <laughs> Raiden? No idea who you're talking about. It's yeah, so Kano apparently just ran off. Oh, damn. Yep. He can't be far. He ran off after getting his ass kicked. I appreciate your help, Cage. Johnny. But right now I've got things to take care Some of. Some call me Johnny. Up on this island somewhere. I have to find him. That's, that's the best I've got. So Kano, so Kano's gone. Sonya wanders off. And Johnny stands there like a twat. <laughs> <laughs> 